Hi everyone, welcome to Track Plan. In this video, I'm going to talk about plant maintenance. We're in the plant schedules page, showing the different plant schedules you can set up to schedule your maintenance work in advance to ensure preventive maintenance and compliance. For example, you can see a six monthly inspection, an air handling unit inspection, a bearing check, and many others. You can expand its schedule by clicking the arrow on the left. See all sites and assets allocated on the schedule. You can easily remove and add these items. And you can quickly edit some of the fields as well, like change the resource, for example, or the due date. You can also see the next planned job for each item and when it's due. When a job is completed, it will automatically create the next one according to the frequency time that you have set up on its schedule. Now, if we add a new site to the schedule, we have to wait 10 or 15 minutes for the system to create a job. Or we can go to the top of the screen click generate jobs you can click into the plan jobs to see the information you can also click on its site When you go into one of these sites, you can see this plan schedule is reflected on the plan schedule tab. And you can also create a new plan schedule directly here from any site or any asset. Create a new schedule is really easy. You just have to click on new schedule and fill in the details. I'm going to show you now one schedule that we have already created to talk you through the different fields. You can see the name, the category, and you can turn the schedule on and off here. You can allocate it by site, patient, or asset. This one, for example, is done by site. This section here can describe the details of the planned jobs that will be generated by the schedule. Here, on schedule type, you can control how jobs are created with the schedule. The most common type to use is regular. The help card underneath explains each type very well. You can set up the started here, down here you can choose the frequency, for example every six months, annually, every two years. You can also set up reminders before the job is due. Select to send a notification to the assigned user and to the resource. Here you can select schedule date for the notifications. You can also configure the system to send a notification when the planned job is overdue. Down at the very bottom, you can attach forms that you have previously created on the forms area of the software. And also, you can upload documents. It will then attach them to the planned jobs. On the main plan maintenance menu, you can find the plan schedule list. This is where we started the video on. You can also find all plan items list, showing all sites, assets and locations included in schedules. You can also find plan job lists, 
showing all the plant jobs created. Notice that all jobs are showing this little icon here, which is showing that it's a plant job. We also have the plant job calendar that you can choose to see by day, week, or month. You can move jobs around and you can also click into them. Also, a very useful report is the timeline report where you can see all your plan maintenance over 12 months sorted either by month or by week. Well, that would be all for now. I hope the video was useful and thanks a lot for watching. Bye.